Hello and welcome to Wolverine Alley-Oop. I'm your host for today, Bill Ledzinski. And I'm Jake Karalexis, and we're here to recap what has certainly been an exciting offseason for Michigan basketball. It sure has, Jake. Combined with a great recruiting class and a really cool trip to Spain, it was a great summer for Michigan basketball, and I think they're destined for a good fall, too. Should be an exciting fall and hopefully a great follow-up to last year's national championship run, Phil. So to start off the show today, we're going to go to our freshman focus section. One freshman to watch this year is Ignis Brasdakis on the men's side. Brasdakis is a six foot seven forward out of Mono, Ontario, and he weighs in at 215 pounds. He comes out of highly regarded Orangeville Prep in Canada and stands to be a tantalizing option for Coach Beeline this year. He is currently enrolled in LSA and has yet to declare a major. Last season in his final year of prep school, he averaged 28.4 points and 8.4 rebounds per game and he helped Orangeville to their second consecutive OSBA title. He'll be looking to fill a stretch forward role this year and has the potential to be a breakout player if he can fill out a little bit more in the weight room and learn Beeline's complex system quickly. The men's basketball team was fortunate enough to take a 10-day trip to Spain this summer visiting Barcelona and Madrid. Amidst all the sightseeing and team bonding, they also played three exhibition games against professional teams from Spain. It was the third time that the Wolverines have traveled abroad with Coach Beeline and the first since 2014. However, Coach Beeline actually did not make the trip as he was still recovering from, Hoff, from heart surgery. However, the rest of the staff, media, team, and some of their families were able to go. Coach Sadi Washington said the cultural experience helps make the team a more connected and cohesive group. It is all a part of the team's growth mindset for this year, which is a scary thought for their opponents considering there was technically only one team in the nation who finished better than they did last year. Moving to the women's side of our freshman focus segment, one women's freshman to watch this year is six foot two forward Naz Hillman. Hillman comes out of Gilmore Academy in Cleveland, Ohio, and was a two-time finalist for Ohio's Miss Basketball Award in high school. As a senior, she averaged 21 points, 14 rebounds, 2.7 assists, and two steals per game, and will hopefully see minutes at the four spot this year, as she is a very prestigious recruit. She came out of high school as a four-star prospect rated by ESPN Hoop Girls, and it is unknown at the time what she is planning to study while she is enrolled in Michigan. The Wolverines won their first game this summer against the Madrid Generals, but lost their second and third games to their professional opponents. While these results certainly aren't ideal, there were plenty of positives, including strong trips from Iggy Braz, who led the team in points and rebounds, as well as Charles Matthews and Jordan Poole. All in all, it was a very successful and perhaps life-changing trip for the team, and a perfect way to wrap up a great summer. And that's all we have for you guys from the news, news desk, so now we're going to send it over to this week's game. Hey everyone, Phil here, hosting this week's game, which is called Freshman Trivia. Our first two contestants are John Marquardt and Allie Marsh, two heavyweights in the trivia game. First up, uh, which rookie is from Brooklyn, New York? Adrian Nunez, Colin Castleton, or Brandon Johns? Nunez. Correct. One point. So I'm keeping track this year. <laughs> <laughs> Who is the shortest player on the freshman roster? David DeJulius, Brandon Johns, or Colin Castleton? Julius. Julius. <laughs> Correct. Two for two. Who was the most highly regarded recruit to come in this year? Iggy, Brandon Johns, or David DeJulius? Right. Yeah, five seconds. All right, go with it. Iggy. Correct. Three for three. Which player went to high school closest to Ann Arbor? David DeJulius, Adrian Nunez, or Iggy Brasdakis? Julius. 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 Detroit, yeah. Yeah. Julius. Four for four. Which player is the tallest? We're moving to the female team now. Nas Hillman, Amy Dilk, or Arielle Young? Yeah, she's just. Uh, Nas? Yeah. Nas Hillman? Correct. Five for five. And lastly, who is number 33? Arielle Young, Amy Dilk, or Emily Kaiser? Amy Dilk. Amy Dilk is incorrect. Oh. Five for six. Great performance, though, guys. And we'll bring in the next team now. Come on, guys. All right, our next contestants are Andrew and Nick. Nick is new to the show, but he knows a lot about basketball, so we'll see how they do. First question, guys. Which rookie is from Brooklyn, New York? Nunez, Castleton, or Johns? Nunez. Castleton. 
Yeah. You can Wait, how does this work? Oh, 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 is oh yeah. okay. You can debate, but uh, very quickly. Minions. Minions. Yeah, I think it's minions. That would be correct. Good thing Andy isn't making the decisions here. I've oh, got actually, that right. Andy got that right. <laughs> That's a surprise. Who is the shortest player? Came in player? strong this year. <laughs> Who is the shortest player on the roster? David DeJulius, Brandon Johns, or Colin Castleton? David DeJulius. Correct. Two for two. Who was the most highly regarded recruit to come in this year? Iggy Braz, Brandon Johns, or David DeJulius? Officially Brandon Johns. Really? Yeah, but like this day because kind of was official though, it should be Brandon Johns. Uh, final answer. Johns? Go for it. Brandon Johns. Incorrect. Iggy Brazdakis, two for three. Which player went to high school closest to Ann Arbor? David DeJulius, Adrian Nunez, or Iggy Brazdakis? That is correct. Three for four. Which player is the tallest on the ladies' team? Nas Hillman, Amy Dilk, or Ariel Young? Ariel Young? Yeah, sure. Ariel Young. That is incorrect. Three for five. Who is number 33? Ariel Young, Amy Dilk, or Emily Kaiser? I think it's Amy Dilk. Yeah. I'll, I'll Amy like Dilk again. It. Sadly, you are wrong once again. What? That would be three for six, guys. And unfortunately, the team before you was five for six. So really? we're going to have to hand you the L this week. You guys can come on in. Congratulations. First week W. Uh, not too surprising considering this duo right here, but yeah, there will be plenty more true. games to come. And that's all we have for you today. So we'll send it over to this week's debate. And for our next section of uh, Wolverine Alley Oop, we have the debate. We have Dan and Ethan here to answer one of the more pressing questions for the Wolverines for this upcoming season. Dan, in your opinion, who is the most important player for the men's team for the 2018-2019 season? No, I'm going to go somebody who I've been very hard on these past couple years, someone who I think really needs to step up, Xavier Simpson. You know, our point guard needs to be the leader of the team, and uh, he has a lot of shortcomings in his game. He cannot really get a bucket. He's terrible at the free throw line. And he's an inconsistent shooter in general. So if he can really take a step forward, maybe become an offensive player, more of an offensive player, and uh, provide some much needed isolation buckets, then it could really be huge for the Michigan basketball team. Interesting answer. I agree with some of your points. Simpson definitely needs to hopefully have worked on his jump shot a lot over the summer and be more assertive on the offensive end. Ethan, do you have a counter? To Dan. Yes. So first, let me uh, analyze uh, the Xavier Simpson pick. Uh, you really come full circle on Xavier here, sit in that chair. I think I said him for this answer last year. You trashed on me, of course, because that's what you do around here. But uh, at a Maze Rage meeting, join Maze Rage if you're a student. But uh, Maze Rage meeting, uh, Xavier said he has fixed his free throws. No more dribble to the side, and he's going. He's ready for it. But back to the question, because that's what we're here to do. I don't think there is a most important player on this team. I think the most important person is Coach Beeline himself. Because this is a young team, there's no true senior on this team. Charles, by definition, is his fourth year, but not truly a senior. Coach B is what's really going to bring this team together. He will bring this team deep in the tournament. He will coach them. You saw in Spain, they lost two games without him. They wouldn't have lost him if he was there. He's just, he is the man behind Michigan basketball. There is no most important player. It's just Coach B. So how do you say, you know, uh, I thought about actually answering the question. When, I how, did how, think how about answering minutes, the question. I did think about Coach answering Beeline the question. Gonna play? How many shots is Coach Beeline going to take? Coach Beeline will coach every how many, minute how many of the season. Yes, he will, yes, he will, lot, he will log a lot of minutes. Don't yeah. you worry about him. So how can you say he's going to be the most important player? I didn't say player. I said person. I changed it to answer person. The answer I changed, the, it. I changed the question. it. I had answer the authority the question. to do also, that. Also, back on my point. Your point. Your point was what not was that, your your point? Point was not that what Xavier your Simpson. Point? You trashed on him and you said if he improves in pretty much everything, he will be the most you important said, you player. Said, you did not say he's the most important. You said he may be the most, uh, he, I think you just said he needs to have the most important role next year on the team. But I think he's the I, most important because our team will live and die if he if he can't if he, if he cannot make a free throw at the end of the game if he cannot score by himself the team and we might not live and die off no that. You're, you're counting out completely Eli Brooks and David DeJulius. <laughs> Eli Brooks come on man Dude, oh, Eli come Brooks on. is oh. irrelevant no irrelevant no, no, Eli Brooks. no player on this team is irrelevant Eli Brooks will be playing maybe 10 minutes a game he 
10 minutes is irrelevant. You're not playing like 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 a pretty defense. good chunk of time, he's I'd not say. He's not playing good defense. Xavier yeah, Simpson is much more important. You don't playing, mean that. He was playing much more, because we do need our defense. He has a really great defense, of course he does. But, because we lost Mo, we lost Mar, two really big offensive players, two people who we really rely on isolation. If he can't go, just want to pick and roll, score off uh, you know, a crossover, a step back, that sort of deal. I'm not sure we're going to be that great this year. Uh, you know, Charles Matthews, we all know about Charles Matthews takes a lot Why of volume shots. Why are you talking about shots. Charles Matthews all of a sudden? Takes a lot of, all of a sudden. Takes a lot of, 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 takes Take on B-Line is pretty interesting, except for the fact that he won't be playing any minutes this year. And Dan, for you, Xavier Simpson at the line, at the offensive end, got to gotta keep the defensive intensity up this year. I'm going to have to award this week's winner of the debate section to Dan. Strong start to the year. That's Hopefully shame. we'll see more of this great That's content shame. going forward. And this, ladies and gentlemen, brings us to the end of our show. Be sure to go to wolftv.org to tune, to tune into more Alley Oop and other Wolf TV programs. Thank you for watching this week's edition of the Wolverine Alley Oop. Catch us next week for more information on everything and anything that is Michigan basketball.